Stampers Kim from StampingImperfection.com. Welcome to my studio. I have a card I want to share with you using this new Lotus Blossom stamp set. This is a three-step stamp set and it is available only from um, January 6th through May 31st online at MyStampingStore.com and it is free when you make a purchase of $50 or more since it's celebration at Stampin' Up! Their, their biggest sale of the year for every $50 you spend you get to select one free item and this gorgeous Lotus Blossom stamp set in my opinion is a must have to add to your stamp collection so you can check out the details on my blog at stampingimperfection.com okay now I I've been sharing cards like crazy, but this one, I it has three simple pieces and I definitely will be adding ribbon. I'm starting with a card base of Whisper White, four and a quarter by five and a half. So that's four and a quarter by five and a half. Then I have a piece of this gold striped vellum and this is cut the same size as my card front four and a quarter by five and a half and I have a piece of another piece of whisper white this is cut three and a quarter by five and a half okay so I'm going to start first by using my blend abilities and um, coloring the back of this I'm just going to turn this over and I am not going to be careful I'm going to put a paper towel under it because I'm not going to be careful one thing about this is you can take and oh, these come off so hard. Ah, there we go. You can take and just color the back of this just like this. You can color over the foil and you won't see that. And you can use different shading. Like maybe I'll flip this over and decide, oh, I wish I'd used darker or lighter or shaded it a little bit. The blendabilities are just a beautiful thing. So I'm doing this really quick. I'm not being careful or fussy. Oops, might have colored on the front there a little bit. Okay, so let me just flip that over. How pretty is that? That comes out so pretty. And I, I, I usually just like wipe it on the paper towel like that. And then I like to back it on um, I like to back it on to my Whisper White just like this, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this on like that. And I'd like to thank Carrie Cudney at Stamping Up for teaching me that, how easy that is to do. Now I usually, I'll just put my, um, I'll put a, maybe a dab of glue in each corner and I, I'll just put some glue on the stripes, the foil stripes so you can't see it because I don't want my glue to show up and this is vellum. Okay, although I am going to cover up a lot of the cardstock there. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Just flip this over and this, the thing I like about this liquid glue is it does dry clear. So usually if I use it on my vellum you really can't see it anyway. So there you go. What a pretty background that is. You can customize that vellum to be any color you want and whatever shade you want using your blendability. So that is a fun tip. Now I'm going to take this piece of Whisper White and I'm going to use the Lotus Blossom stamp set. And I decided I wanted to, um, and by the way, I don't know if I said this was um, my Coastal Cabana. Yep, my Coastal Cabana. And I used the medium one there. So I'm going to take um, this is my crushed curry and I'm using the Lotus Blossom which is three steps. I did a video on this. I'm taking image number one which is the least, the one with the least stamped area and I'm just going to stamp that just like that. Then I'm going to take the second one, image number two. I'm going to stamp it off once and I'm going to line that up There we go. Pretty. This is really pretty. I've been experimenting with darker colors. This is the first yellow I've used. I'm going to stamp this off twice and then line this up again and make sure the whole image gets stamped. Love, love, love this. Just like that. 
I am going to do the same thing with the stems, and I believe these stems are meant to be two-step stems. So I'll take the what looks like the least amount, and this is pear pizzazz. I just wanted it to be light, and I'll stamp this on, just like that. Then I'll take the what looks like the full stem, yep. and I'm going to ink it up. I'm going to stamp that off once, and then I'm going to line this up and stamp that on just like that. Just like that. How pretty is that? Very, very pretty. All right. One other thing I wanted to add, I wanted to add one of the sentiments, your kindness shows no, has or your kindness has no end. So I wanted to use this. I'm going to use my Memento Tuxedo Black ink pad, which I think definitely needs to be re-inked. Hopefully this will come out nice and crisp. And I'm just going to stamp this down toward the bottom like that. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to attach this to the center actually Yes, I'm going to put ribbon all around, I think. You could, at this point, put ribbon just around this white piece, but I think I want to do ribbon all around. Okay, and I'm going to add the colors that Stampin' Up! is matching. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a glue dot on the end of this. Yeah, I want it down here. I'm just going to wrap this. I'm going to attach it to the stem. I'm going to wrap this around. I'm going to make sure I'm getting it flat in the back. Come back around. I'm going to cut it off where it overlaps. And I will use my paper piercer to grab another glue dot like that. So that is attached like that. And then I'm going to add a bow out of the same ribbon, attach another glue dot. I'm going to put this right over the seam where I attach that and I might need to shorten this one side a little bit. And then the last thing I want to add is some rhinestones. So I'll just add a few rhinestones, and I'm going to add um, I'm going to add some of the smallest size. I'm going to put one up there because I got a a splotch up there. Always place one over the splotch. I'll put one here. You could put a couple at the bottom if you wanted to. But there you go. That completes my card. And that's got a fun blendability vellum technique that you can use, fun three-step stamping technique, and it gives you kind of a nice elegant card to give to someone that has done something very nice for you. So thanks very much for watching.